What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back for episode 14 of Huddleful Boyfriend. This episode, we are going to finish Sakia's route, and I'm hoping that he does have some sort of, or just any sort of redeeming quality by the end of it. So, fingers crossed, and here's hoping. Ah, uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, Sky. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Ah, uh, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Sky? Huh? What's the number in the top left hand corner say? Oh. You're just a little bit early. Eh. Uh, so, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Sky? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library. I want to... Uh, sorry, Mr. Nanaki. I'm going to save that for your route and your route only. I'm going to return to my glorious abode. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war, lay my bloodied sword at the feet of my great king, and celebrate my conquest of all the lands from here to distant Macedonia. Have fun! Kids these days. Um, good morning everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Phew! Okostan is always having fun! Yep, yep. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. How to stay focused. Focus, sir. Focus. Powerful boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Second term. Huh? Is that a student ID? Who's is it? Someone from two two? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir! Uh, 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 uh. Sir! Oh! Hello, Air. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Air. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... you did find this today, right, Sky? Yes, in the corridor, just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Sky. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Music class. Oh no, I forgot my recorder. I don't think we have any spares. I, I do have my hichiriki at least. You can play that? Area leveled up. Charisma increased by five. This late already? Let's stop here for today. We'll start looking at some new formulas next time, so try to read ahead, okay? <laughs> the lassitude of Japan's educational system never ceases to amaze me. We're over halfway through your route, Sakia. And every time you open your beak, I want to punch you in the face. 
You don't like Mr. Nanaki's classes, Sakia? Oh, what do you think? And I'm not just talking about the math. Not only is attendance at the school mandatory, but everything it covers is infantile. It bores me to yawning. Hey, at least Mr. Nanaki won't chew you out for snoozing in class, right? I don't think that's the issue here, Ryota. Look at Okosan. He conked out as soon as we took attendance. Cool. So, 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 so. Exactly. These pathetic teaching practices destroy the students' motivation and interest. No wonder no birdie takes school seriously. But isn't Mr. Nanaki a big name in science? I mean, I'm not really that well informed, but... I don't think it's very nice to go around piddling on him, Sakia. We know his capabilities as a teacher quite well, Sky. Do you mean to say that we should respect and obey him simply because he is a teacher? His fame is merely on the national level, anyway. But a pleb. The only world-renowned professor here would be Dr. Iwamini. Eh, the doctor is that well known? Ha, I never heard about that. It is Okosan's pudding. I am surrounded by ignoramuses and fools. He is a world authority on pathology. His name is known the world over. Anyway, Inaki does not even come close. I never knew the doctor was that famous. But then, why is he working as the doctor for a high school? Even if it is a prestigious one. Today's a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Isn't 2-4 doing a haunted house? I'm well known for my reckless nature, so maybe I'll go and scream a little bit. I think Saki is free today too, isn't he? Maybe I should invite him along? Aaron does not want to, but Ari wants to invite him. Sakia! Do you need something? You're free today, right? Want to go look at Two Force Haunted House? Haunted House? A waste of time. Nothing but a foolish charade of commoners, by commoners, and for commoners. How do you know if you don't go? And besides, isn't keeping an eye on the masses part of a noble bird's job, too? Ugh. I suppose it might have some value. Since I have no other pressing matters to which I must attend, I shall accompany you. What is this madness? A haunted mansion. What on earth is that? Will we, will we be attacked by hostile ninjas? No, that would be a ninja mansion. But my, my nurse told me that any mansion is bound to have ninjas lying in wait inside. It's like a tiny theme park with a ghost theme, hence haunted. How foolish. No doubt it has nothing but tricks to scare mere children. We shall enter. Oh, hey, wait! What trickery is this? I... I can't see! Why is it dark in here? Oh, right. You can't see in the dark, can you? Ah! I stepped on something nasty! Stop! Unhand me! Ah! Ah! Sakia, calm down! No, you're not supposed to kick the poor ghosts! Let me go! <sighs> I've never seen him this worked up before. Anyway, I'm glad he enjoyed it. I think? Music class is fun today. Solo tests always make me nervous, but they can be fun too. I sang well today. We have physics next, right? 
Huh? Sakia is standing in the music room, staring at the instrument rack. What's wrong, Sakia? What do you think of the arts, Miss Sky? The arts? Where did that come from? Surely one such as yourself has an opinion of some kind. What do you think of the arts? Um, well, I'm not really sure it's something I could put into words just like that. Dostoyevsky once said that an artist is a man who turns his ear inwards and writes down with zeal what he hears. Such a common idea. He looks angst-ridden. I wonder if something happened? Finally done with cleaning. Time to go home. Hmm? I can hear somebody playing the piano in the music room at the end of the hall. Ooh. I think I'll... I'm gonna go look. I can see somebody sitting at the piano through the door. I recognize him. It's... Sakia? Ah. How long have you been there? Were you spying on me? How unpleasant. No, I just came over here. It sounded beautiful. I never knew you could play. I'm amazed you can practice and still study enough to get such good grades, Sakia. Of course. A noble must be versed in all fields, though I doubt one such as you can understand the art. It sounded wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'm distracting you. Sorry. I'll go now. Don't mind me. Sky. Huh? What do you love? Why this all of a sudden? Tell me. Hmm. Udon, I guess? Is, is that all I'm given to eat in my cave house? Udon. Truly. Yep, I eat it every day. Sounds like I don't do my own grocery shopping. I see. I see. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Sakya. And so I left him sitting in deep in thought. What was that all about? We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. And my wisdom is still a one. Sky. Sir? You'll get in bed keep it up. Yes, sir. It's winter break. The year's almost over. For some reason, that makes me sad. Oh, I got a letter and a fancy envelope. Who's it from? We are holding a Christmas party at the LaBelle Mansion on the 24th of this month. You are invited. Be honored. Sakyo LaBelle Shirogane. Hey, I got a heartwarming invitation. My family's Buddhist, so I hadn't had anything planned. I might as well go, right? I think I'll... Go to the party! Whoa, it's like a palace! Ho ho ho, what do you think, Sky? Normally a commoner such as yourself would never set foot in here. So another thought that I just had... Um, in this new bird-dominated society... Are the birds just inhabiting pre-made human-sized structures? That's probably the most likely, but... Like, if this was a truly bird-dominated world, wouldn't they make their buildings bird-sized? But everything is still human-sized. So again, I'm thinking we're not that far into the future. We did have that one picture of the dilapidated cityscape, but 
for the most part, seems like everything else is kind of intact. I wasn't expecting to get more lore, but maybe... Hmm. This game has given me a lot to think about, okay? It's amazing, Sakia. This whole thing is far removed from my own uncultured Stone Age lifestyle. I feel a little nervous. And it's like, did they just... Like, did I have a home before all of this went down? Or am, am I that test tube baby grown human in a petri dish? And they just threw me into a cave. Do you have a party like this every year? Every year? Don't be foolish. We have one every month. Creating a habitat for social discourse is a noble's duty, after all. That seems a little tiresome. Are you feeling overwhelmed already? Poor foolish common. Kill! That's... Dude, this establishment lacks pudding! Oh, go, you dog! Why are you here? I never invited you. Koo! Oko-san sensed the feast and came in through the window, but there is no pudding. I wouldn't give any to you even if I did have some. Confound you, you genetic throwback. Oko-san's going to go berserk at this rate. I think I should... Stop him. Oko-san, inside voice! Well done, Sky. Now throw him outside. Q. I I am grateful to you, Sky. Now we can have our party in peace. No need to thank me. I would hire you as a bodyguard if ever you so desired. Um. Happy New Year! But it's raining! Oh well. I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep inside like a good girl. I won't be able to send out cards in this rain either. Fiddlesticks. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. You're still hibernating, sir! Wake up! Oh! Um... I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Third term. We're almost at the end. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. We. Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening here for beans. Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? Uh, this year's trend is toward these bean medleys for races, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the burden question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... So, I'm gonna get the most expensive beans for the fancy bird boy. I'll take these! Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Sakia! I am busy. May I ask you not to waste too much of my time? This will only take a minute. I have something for you. Here. 
What are these? It's a pricey blend of beans. I know you like expensive things. That was not what I meant. Why are you giving me beans? It's leguminous. And what is that? What planet are you from anyway? It's a holiday where girls are supposed to give beans to the boys they like. What? Don't look so disturbed, jeez. I gave you those. Will you accept them, Sakia? Mm. These beans seem somewhat cheap for the illustrious recipient, but since you ask it, I will not refuse them. Really? Yay. What do you mean by... What did you mean by like? Huh? I am asking what you meant by the boys they like. Um, exactly what I said. No matter what I'm doing or where I am, your beautiful plumage is always comes to mind, Sakia. Um. Anyway, here. I hope we can continue to get along. Indeed. He glances at the beans, and then at me, and then wordlessly leaves. I'm glad he liked them. He did like them, right? Oh, it's cold. It feels even colder than when it was around New Year's. Maybe the wind's stronger? I'm starting to think I should build a wall, or maybe dig myself a new bedroom. Oh my god, Aerie. With this kind of weather, some birds are even collapsing in the street. Hey, wait. Isn't that one Sakia? S Sakia, what's wrong? Don't ask for the details. Just carry me to your miserable abode, I beg of you. Wandering around and collapsing in the street at this time of night doesn't seem like the customary practice for an aristocrat. What's happened, Sakia? Don't tell me your family has fallen from high society. What happened? I shall not say. Eh? What were you doing wandering around in the wilderness then? I was not wandering. I was on my way here. Be honored. Oh, so this isn't a coincidence after all. Did you want something from me then? No, don't flatter yourself. Eh? Um, should we call your family or something? No. What? He looks really angry. Listen. Listen. Don't you dare. Don't you dare call my house. Sakyu, did you run away from home? That sounds bad. No, I simply left of my own volition. Um, isn't that the same thing? Yep. What happened, Sakia? Sky, do you remember when we talked in the music room at school last fall? Yes, what about it? Do you remember what I asked you then? You asked me what... I loved. You asked me what I loved. That's right, and you gave a simple, honest answer right away. And that... That... That made me jealous. Did I miss here? That's the last thing I'd have expected from him, of all people. I don't understand, Sakia. Why? I... I'm one of the few of the pure bloodline. I am ranked higher than any of my siblings. I have been slated to become the next family head since birth. And there is no reason I shouldn't be. But... You don't want to take your father's place? How did you know that? It's obvious. It's written all over your face. 
I love music. But my father does not approve. When I was young, I owned a number of instruments, but he had them all thrown away. Art is not our realm. The joy of creation is the domain of peasants. Our role is to be patrons and promoters of the artists we admire, not to be artists ourselves. A noble who sows his own wheat is a fool. That's not true. I think anyone who can play music should be encouraged, no matter what their parents are. That is because you think with a peasant's values. My world is different from yours. I'm not talking about what peasants think. I'm talking about what I think. What about you, Sakia? What do you think? What do I think? You speak in riddles. I carry the name of Labelle. To play it, applying my own standards and ideals to the world would be a disgrace. But didn't you just say you left the mansion of your own accord? Isn't that applying your own idea to the world? <sighs> You've contradicted yourself. What do you want to do in life, Sakia? I must succeed my father as the next family head. No, gee, that's not what I meant. What if you forget all about the LaBelle family and do anything in the world? What would you do then? Forget about the LaBelle family? What mockery is this? We're speaking hypothetically dummy. Baka. If I could do anything in the world, I would continue studying music. I would like to see how far I could go as a musician. He sounds uncharacteristically modest. I was half expecting him to give some rambling speech of how he would unite the world to become king or something. You love music, don't you? If I could hear you play the piano again, I would be very happy, Sakia. I think you've answered your own question. Answered my own question? Don't be ridiculous. This is a mere fantasy. It has no connection to reality. Have you told your father that you want to continue studying music? Don't be ridiculous. How could I lower myself so? So you haven't even asked him about it? You wouldn't be lowering yourself, Sakia. Are you ashamed to love music? Hmm. You should ask him. It's worth a try, right? Hmm. Perhaps you are right. I suppose I never would have thought of that if I hadn't talked to you. You were confused about what you wanted, Sakia. I just gave you a little push. Uh, yes? I'm going to speak with him when I return. If he refuses, would... Would you carry my fallen body to safety one more time? Are you planning to run away for real next time? If it comes to that. I will follow you anywhere you need to go, Sakia. You will always have a safe place here, okay? I shall return to you. Thank you, this guy. And so he set out across the wilderness once more. I don't know if his father will accept him or if he will really run away. But I know he will come back to me. And I pray that our future will be a happy one. Wake up! It's morning, Sakia! Silence! The hall of your father's has many lumps and sharp rocks, Sky. Jeez, what are you complaining about? I even got you some straw. Wishes to say I did the best I could for a freeloader. You're the worst roommate ever. Here, I made breakfast. Your first concert is today, so you need to get ready. Hmm. You didn't complain about the food. That's an improvement. Um, by the way. What is it? Have you contacted Yuya? You must be joking. I thought so. I have his address. Should I tell him about you? We need not worry him. I have no intention of asking favors of him. I didn't mean... Anyway, let it be. Things are fine as they are. I guess he's still a little chilly about Yuya. So there's some... Only by playing Yuya's route are we going to get the finished story, I guess. 
Maybe it's still too early. Let us go, Sky. Okay. Too airy. Salutations, I trust you are well. A little bird told me you've been taking care of Sakia. He's a pain, but I know you'll be able to handle him just fine. I have something to tell him. Something very important. Is this Yuya? Yeah. <clears throat> something I've been meaning to tell him his entire life. Since you're... Well, I guess I'm still a little unsure myself. If he ever says he wants to see me, I'll think it over. When that time comes, let me know, okay? I'll keep in touch. Adieu, Sakazaki Yuya. Well, that was unfulfilling. I felt like that could have been more than what it was, but I'll take it. Song of the Foolish Bird. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Hotful Boyfriend. I was hoping for some more anything for Sakia. He didn't quite have a redemption arc like I was hoping, but maybe his bro Yuya will fill in the gaps. We'll find out next time. Thank you for joining me, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, as of right now, I'm planning to do regular uploads on Mondays and Thursdays. I'm going to... Um, depending on when this episode itself gets posted, I may have already started posting Astrologaster. But I'm going to start working in different games, and as soon as Hotful Boyfriend ends, I'm going to turn Thursday, uh, potentially, into sort of a date night series where I continue playing um, like Otome visual novel dating simulation games. Um, the sillier the better, but I also look for some more serious ones and see what those are like, because I do enjoy visual novels and anything point and click. So that's just me rambling off for a bit, but thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you next time. We're getting close to the end of the game as a whole. We've got uh, Yuya and Mr. Nanaki, and I think there's a secret bird ending that we can only get after we've finished every birdie's route. So stay tuned for that. Catch you next time. Bye.